Here's my sync point. Ah. There we go. Excellently let's, done. Let's get that. I forgot shot. to do sync points so so many times this weekend. It, it's gonna be the bane of my existence. <laughs> you know how it is. What's going on, everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here. It's the last day of GitCon 2017. I am sitting down with Joe from Guitar Nerds. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good to see you. How's feeling, it going? I'm doing all right. It's the uh, I, this is the first day that I'm actually feeling a hundred percent, but it's the last day. <laughs> How, what kind of irony is that? Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. I think it's, uh, I mean, this has been a really long event, but I think we're all actually starting to settle into the idea of four hours sleep and... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ironically, I find myself actually quite alive and alert right now, even though I probably only got about six hours sleep, which normally in California, uh, I, I feel like, oh God, I got six hours of sleep. This is the worst ever. But no, not here. No, I'm doing good. Here. How's the week been for yeah, you? Yeah, great. Um, yeah, really good. Um, I think everyone here, no one was 100% sure what to expect. Yeah. But it's, it's been great to have such a melting pot of people. You know, so many people that everyone that we could all talk to. Right. I mean, great for for our podcast because on, on top of, as well as a YouTube channel, our, our main thing is, is a weekly podcast. So right. what's been great is I've been able to just chat to loads of people and, uh, you know, fill up the the weeks of podcasts to come yeah i mean you guys don't have to sit down and do anything for quite some time no, exactly. probably <laughs> which is good i mean that's like we bank all this content over this day period and i know uh pete thorne mentioned something on the panel last night about like people were asking like where's all the, the videos where's all the content and it's just like we spend 9 a.m we're talking at what like 9 45 a.m right yeah. now yeah and we're most of us are going to be here till 6 p.m there's a dinner at seven and then after that is a live stream then there's a jam yeah and that goes until about 11 p.m so by the time we all get back to where we're staying who wants to edit anything no that's it that's exactly it i think i have hard drives yeah. full of stuff i think the 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 post get control through all of our stuff is going to be the mm -hmm. that's going to be the killer i'm basically going to use the plane ride to do my <laughs> right. and do my audio editing thankfully i have a mobile pro tools rig so i'm i'm all i'll be set yeah, because I can't sleep on planes, right. personally. Well, you don't have too far to travel. No, no, I guess, well, like, yeah, like two and a half hours back to the UK. And very fortunately for me, because Guitar Nerds is four people, I also have three other people that I can get to do all the work. You have a team. Yeah. Now, the, the interesting thing is, like you said, your, your guys' main thing is the weekly podcast. Yeah. And when I realized that you guys were going to be represented here, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because I didn't really know. I knew of the podcast, but yeah. I didn't know of the YouTube content yeah. that you guys did. So it was, gonna, it was interesting to me as, as a person who creates content mostly for YouTube and, and other forms of social media outside of the podcast world. What's a what's a podcast gonna? I guess they could do interviews, but what else would they get out of being at an event like this? So, wh coming from the podcast angle, being at a, I guess you could say a YouTubers uh -huh. get together. Yeah. Uh, just coming from the podcast angle, what do you feel like has been the biggest advantage of being at GitCon? Actually, I th I think kind of the the length of GitCon, whilst it whilst it's been pretty exhausting. Because it's, it's been so intensive and so long, it's meant that everyone's got a real chance to meet each other and get to know each other. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned interviews. That's kind of not the angle we ever try to come at from a podcast because interviews can be a bit sort of call and responsy on a, on a podcast. What we want to have is a conversation. Right. And it doesn't work unless everyone's kind of comfortable to sit down. And the idea is like to, to segue, to go off on tangents, to talk about gear. Yeah. And you can only do that like when you're a little bit settled. So yeah, definitely. Um, so that's kind of, that was kind of the advantage for us, like as opposed to doing something at NAMM where you're getting sort of quick 10 minute slots with people and you're being just drowned by the this dearth n noise and somewhere droning in the background yeah. yeah yeah exactly that can get a little tiring really yeah. fast yeah so so yeah so i guess that's that's like what's been great about gitcon is everyone's just been able to the the conversation's been great because everyone can just talk about gear as you know a group of people who are into gear yeah i was saying to someone earlier the great thing about this particular get together is we all have a 
a central genre, if you will, of content we produce. So we can all very easily talk about it with each other and to each other, but it this a lot of it is like we're all meeting for the first time in person yeah of course so i know someone had made a uh, mention that a lot of the videos getting done in the rooms they don't want them to be interviews but it's like dude we're like we've conversed over facebook or instagram or twitter yeah or email before we're meeting for the first time so naturally all almost everything we do collaboratively in these videos is getting to know each other. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's probably been my favorite thing. Yeah, definitely. So speaking on a gear angle, what have you seen that's kind of been like preview pieces or things that maybe you weren't aware of that have stuck out to you from the companies that have come and offered their stuff up sure. for us? Um, I think there have been a couple of standout kind of things here. Um, one being TC Electronics participation in this event yeah um just because what was really cool is is they got a load of the um a load of the the people here to create their own tone prints we got to see their new um we got to see their new harmonizing pedal which was really cool that that only got released yes well yesterday yeah, to they, us right they now announced it officially yesterday exactly so that was cool and they even brought like uh, the, a non-production piece their, yeah, the, uh, their the chorus, june 60 the june si yeah exactly which yeah, which I, is i did a video of that the other day and i loved it yeah what a cool piece of gear so yeah it's so stupid simple but uh, like my favorite pieces of gear are always the simplest yeah yeah absolutely so that was super cool and uh, just kind of on a on a weird like angle i really enjoyed checking out universum guitars yeah i yeah. mean as soon as i said weird you knew i was going to say universum yeah. guitars but um yeah, so i i'm really into travel guitars yeah and so uh uh you know that they had a the fold up <laughs> yes that goes into like this cool leather briefcase i was uh, i was very very into that you should definitely check that out yeah i think i got a clip of it somewhere in the yeah. footage that was pretty cool that yeah. that definitely stuck out to me it's definitely the most unique thing here yeah absolutely that's pretty awesome yeah it's been it's been a really long week i feel like we've all done a lot of great work and now but it's uh not over yet no no we've got another 10 hours to go another 10 well you guys do unfortunately i have to leave early today but i still have all the work to do afterward yeah. oh well It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be good. It's been a good week. Yeah. Well, Joe, thanks so much for sitting thanks down, taking the time to talk. Give everybody all the info of where they can find Guitar Nerds on the interwebs. Sure, sure. Well, uh, on uh, on YouTube, we're forward slash Guitar Nerds. Uh, you can check out the uh, the Facebook forum on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Guitar Nerds forum. That's where you can get involved in the discussion about our podcast. Or you can just go to our website, guitarnerds.net. Uh, or find us on iTunes or any good podcast provider. Well, there you go, everybody. Joe from Guitar Nerds, and hey, you know what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe button when you see it so you don't miss the rest of the GitCon videos. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I wish you all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.